Come on then. Oh, she's very vocal. She's also got a beauty spot, but like Madonna. Well, when Madonna had that sort of beauty spot thing. Come on then. Hello, how are you? I've just arrived back home, home, home. So where I'm from, where I grew up, um, which is in the northeast of Scotland. So this is my childhood bedroom. My mum and dad have kind of basically given it a bit of an overhaul and it's no longer my room. They have added some little touches, which I do enjoy, especially this. How good is this? Scotty Dog Tartan Cushion. Oh, also, there is one very exciting thing here that I've left. Can you hear that? She's coming. Come up and see. Oh, precious being. So I've not seen my cat in over a year. Um, mm, and she's really very, Pleased to see me, clearly. That was Ellie. Here we go, we've got a cat, you can see the cat's tail. She's just gonna chill and I'm gonna get on with this. So, I thought I'd give you a bit of a haul video today. Oh, I should tell you why I'm back. So I'm back for a wedding, a family wedding. So that meant a new outfit. So I have bought a new suit. It's hanging up, I'm gonna show you. It's from ASOS, it's a three piece. Very, very exciting. Got two bow ties, also from ASOS. Well, one's River Island, but through ASOS. We're gonna check those out. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is a new pair of boots which I've got down here. Um, I got them last week, hold that thought. The cat's gone, the cat has gone. So I've got this new pair of boots, the Chelsea boots. I've been wanting a pair of Chelsea boots for probably about a year now and I honestly don't know why I haven't got a pair. Um, but these were 55 pounds, absolute bargain in my opinion. Um, they're from Topman, little brown Chelsea boots. And what is so good about Chelsea boots is you can wear them at any time of year. Um, I'm a big boot fan, but the brown boots I've been wearing have been falling apart and I look a bit of a skank. Um, so I've gone for these now. Ooh. I've been wearing them with skinny jeans, just rolled up slightly. You can see this was my flight to look today. I've got a link to these in the description if you want to check them out. I think they come in other colours so if you're a bit of a, more of a black boot fan, then go wild for them. But yeah, Top Man, I've got loads of really good boots in at the moment especially uh, Chelsea boots, so yeah, good one. Perfect for autumn slash winter. Down we go with these. Now the exciting part, the suit. This arrived for me, um, in a little ASOS suit bag. Three piece suit, you buy them as separate. So I bought the trousers, the waistcoat and the blazer, all as three separates. What's in here? So it's blue dog's tooth, three piece. Uh, let's get it out. Stop talking, start showing. It's quite a thick fabric, so it's good for these colder months that we are definitely getting into. Uh, what's the easiest way of doing this? Let me take it all apart. So initially, let's just show this. Uh, you can see beautiful blue dog's tooth. Two button front on the blazer. Let's take it apart. This is the blazer. We've got a nice fit. It's all very slim fit, which I like at the moment. Um, sits very nicely on my body, a uh, great sort of fit, nice and tailored, just plain black lining inside it. And the blazer was £85, and um, so, God, I've now got a fly in my bedroom, because I've had the, the door open trying to get the cat in. Sorry about this, this is all turned into a bit of a wildlife fair. That's what you get when you're in the North East Scotland, isn't it? Hopefully this fly is just going to keep quite quiet. He's been quiet. 80, oh, and now it's moving again. Oh, let's forget about it. Uh, 85 pounds, skinny fit, dog's tooth, blue dog's tooth blazer. Good one. Uh, next, we've got skinny fit trousers next. Again, same dog's tooth. And these were 40 pounds from ASOS. What's great about this suit is that I'm gonna be, be bleh, bleh, I'm gonna be able to wear everything as separate. So I can see myself wearing these trousers with maybe an oversized black wool jumper. And with a blazer, I can wear it, say, over a pair of skinny jeans, or with a pair of um, something a bit lighter, like maybe a pair of beige chinos, that might look quite nice. Or even just a pair of black skinnies, that would look really cool, because it's obviously got the black. Um, I can mix it in with some navy. So, this suit is not going to just get used as a suit, it's really going to get milked for everything it's worth. And finally, the little waistcoat was for £32, six buttons. Um, and do you know what, I've never been a fan of waistcoats. I've always thought of them as very much um, sort of 2005 semi-boy band. Um, but I bought this as a bit of a, oh, I may as well get the full thing. And I really like it. I've put it on 
and it fits very well. Same sort of lining that's come from the inside of the jacket we've got on the back of the waistcoat and it all sits so well together. I should say, I'm not going to put it all on right now because I'm going to have to dash out very soon. I'm going to put a picture on my Instagram so if you do want to look back and see how I looked, you can let me know, Robin, you looked really bad. I'm um, just going to use a stronger word there. Or you can say, Robin, you look pretty good. Good look. I'm going to pop it on my Instagram, which is at Robin underscore red. Three-piece suit. Very exciting. Um, what else do I have? What else have I got? So, I wanted to, instead of wearing a tie with this, um, because, I, do you know what? I'm not a fan of ties or bow ties or anything that basically restricts my neck. I like things, as you can see, a sort of popped collar and a loose t-shirt. But I bought two bow ties, and not because I'm going to wear two at once, but because I just wasn't sure what's going to work. And I'm very much someone that changes their mind on the day. I don't even know what I'm going to do with my hair tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to wear it down, or if I'm going to go and wear it up, my good old trademark with, or if I'm just going to do a nice comb over, which I think I'm leaning towards right now. Two bow ties, again from ASOS, uh, good old ASOS. Um, and this one was in the ASOS sale, and I got it for four pounds. Little navy bow tie, four pounds, from ASOS, one size, and the second one, which I am loving, is this one. It's actually River Island, but it's through the, um, through ASOS. Uh, so this one, little polka dot number, which I'm really leaning towards, I'm thinking, especially if I don't have a massive quiff tomorrow and I'm wearing my hair down, I need something which says, oh, he looks quite fun, um, instead of just being plain Jane in the corner looking a bit boring and kind of like, hmm. River Island, eight pounds, polka dot, and this, I'm gonna actually put it against the suit. Oh, guys, this is very cute indeed. Um, I think this is gonna be the winner for tomorrow. Uh, this little one here, polka dot, polka dot wonder. And also, best thing about both these bow ties, I don't have to be able to tie a bow tie because it's got a little clip, boom. And with these, I'm going to just wear a pair of navy shoes, which I've polished. Uh, navy shoes, let me show you them actually. Uh, where are they? Navy shoes, navy shoes. Yeah, so these, these navy shoes are River Island, and I got them a couple of years ago. Uh, plain navy. I was going to wear black patent, but because I've got the navy bow ties now, I thought, no. And a white, plain white shirt, which I'm going to wear, just a standard plain white shirt, nothing to see, nothing to show about it, just a plain white shirt. And that is my wedding look done. All the things that I've showed you today, I've popped in the description, links to them. But for now, I am off, I am rambling. As ever, please do, like it, hate it, just rate it please. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.